Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming, and we do, in fact, have audio, and we are playing Battletech Extended 3025 Full Game Mod. This is the Commander's Edition. You can get it at nexusmods.com. And, um, yeah, we're having a good time. We are playing during the clan invasions. Um, Navigation-wise, let me pull up the star map here and show you how the invasions have been going. Um, not well for uh, not well for the Inner Sphere, as you can see, but uh, I think we already knew that. You can kind of see the incursion there, and then another one over here. We happen to be up in here somewhere. So you can see we are um, we are here at Yamarovka, um, which is controlled by Clan Smoke Jaguar at the moment. So I, um, I've discovered what's probably a bug. Um, however, because of that, something I said is not quite true. I said before that we had um, we had another a fifth clan mech that we weren't counting because he wasn't really useful to us. You can see if we take a look right here, we can go and pull the awesome out. We can put three oaken up there. There's four clan mechs right there. If we go into storage, you'll see that we happen to have a little Fenris right here, a little ice ferret. Um, and we built the prime because we didn't. I didn't know which ones were which. I just guessed. I took one, and it turned out it was garbage and it didn't do us any good at all. However, if you've got multiple parts and multiple ways of looking at it, and you come here after putting something into storage and you hit ready, you will see that we can ready it as any variant we want. Now, it's entirely possible this is a bug, but it's also entirely possible that this is working as intended because they're Omnimechs. Omnimechs are meant to be able to plug and play like Legos to change various components. So I don't know for sure if this is intended. Um, I could see either way. I could see them saying, but I'm going to go with it and we're going to say we're going to make a Fenris C. Um, and we could, in theory, do that with any of the mechs we have. If there was a different model we wanted, um, we could do that. I'm going to hit play real hick here. We'll get our one day to ready this thing up. Now, it doesn't have any equipment on it because we threw it in storage. Um, but let's take a look at it real fast. Let's get back into the mech bay. I think I already know how I want to do this. When I looked at all three, I don't remember what the prime was except I hated it. I looked at the other three to see which versions I liked. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to set this up actually as an SRM type of deal. We're going to go here. I happen to have um, two Streak SRM6s. Uh, we'll put those in the arms, and I'm going to just put a standard clan um, SRM6 right here. Now, I also happen to have one Artemis SRM6, but that would require me to run two different types of weapons, or two different armor. I have to run SRM and Artemis SRM, uh, and I don't really want to do that. So we're going to come down here. We're going to put a ton of SRM there, a ton of SRM there. Excuse me, we're going to max armor to, to finish it out. And we've got three SRM6s. Now, our goal for this, again, is a scout max. Now, he does not jump, unfortunately. Um, we'll have to live with that. Uh, but we're just going to run him around. He's fairly quick, as I, I believe. Um, you'll see me movements kind of maxed out there. So we run him where we want. We hide him behind stuff. And when we need to pop out and put some shots in the back of somebody or finish somebody up, you know, we've got 140-ish damage, um, you know, shotgun style, um, waiting in the wings with this thing. So while its effectiveness every mission is probably not quite as useful as launching in a clan LRM-20 off of our um, Vindicator, we don't have that extra clan LRM-20 now. So all things considered, I think this will be just fine. Um, so I'm going to ready it up, and that gives us a full star of clan mechs which was what our goal was. Now, we have a few more components down here. You can see we've got three out of four for um, a gladiator. Um, we do have um, dragonfly. We've got three out of four for that and three out of four with a Koshi as well. So if we wanted to build a mist links or um, the viper. Um, I hate how all of them have two names. I understand one side has one name, the other side has the other name. You know, like the Germans called the Messerschmitt ME-262 the Swallow, right? Not that we really have a name for it that was different. Um, it was just nasty. <laughs> we just do want to see it at all in the skies. Um, but it just annoys me. Um, it is what it is. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to hang out here. We're going to repair that, and then we'll go ahead... And we'll take a mission and we will drop with our five Omnimex, right? That was our goal. Um, 
Cardamac warriors return from shore leave. Punchy trots over to you and Darius frowning. Commander, I was out drinking when a stranger offered to buy the next round. Never take candy from strangers, Punchy. Uh, he started asking about our company, but I could tell he already knew about us. About you. Go on, you're not in trouble. Yet. Cut to the end. Punchy clears his throat. He provided a method of secure communication and offered to pay for information about any more contracts we take in system. Um, we can provide the spy false information. We don't have black market. Um, or we can spin our rival's fears into a negotiation advantage. Let's do that. I don't remember what that does. We got 200,000. There we go. He did the right thing by telling us. We'll take it from here. Um, honestly, I don't care if we've rattled a few cages here in Yamarovka. Uh, might help with closing more contracts while we're here if we're in the big mech on the block. Later in the week, Darius reported he's managed to turn this an advantage by charging non-refundable negotiation fees just to present a contract to the company. I should try this more often. All right, 200000 for some non-negotiable. Um, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to hop in here to the command center. I think we've got a couple more missions we can do. We've got Joust here and Full House. Desert, Destroy Base, Battle in the Jungle. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. I'm going to negotiate that. I'm going to pop up to get the one out of four. We'll click that down. We will take the awesome out. It hurts. It hurts. We'll take the Zeus out. It definitely still hurts. Um, that is our AC-20 Ryoken. This is our Fenris goes down there. And this is our LRM-20 Ryoken. Um, and so we're going to drop with just that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what pilots I want for everything here. Um, who is my best? Probably, let's see, Jet. I don't know, Breaching Shot might be really good to have with the AC-20. You know what I'm saying? However, we also need somebody with Target Lock. All right, you've got Target Lock. You're going in the Fenris. Um, you've also got Breaching Shot, but you... But you have target lock, so that, that kind of screws you. I'm sorry about that. Um, sure footing. That might be nice to have. One bonus evasion. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, alternatively, we might want additional heat in that thing um, because of all those medium lasers, and I did take away a heat sink. Um, you know what? I'm going to put Jet in there with the AC-20. I see you, Jelly. You just have to wait for me to deploy, and I'll feed you while we load. Um, alien, I think I'm going to put in the Man of War so we can cool down a little bit. Um, I need somebody for the Ryokan for missiles still. Um, probably is me. Um, I'll go ahead and put me in there. And Taskmaster is the only other one that has heat cooling. And we are going in the jungle. I don't remember if jungle helps or hurts. Maybe it helps because of the humidity, but maybe it hurts because it's hot. I don't remember. Um, we're just going to go this route and call it a day. So I'm going to hit drop. I'm going to feed the cat. Again, <laughs> we're at 309 tons right there um, for a one skull. We'll still probably get our butt kicked, but we're going to try. We have our clan lance. Victory is ours, whether we win or lose. This was our goal. If we survive this and the mechs are in reasonable shape, I now want to fly back towards uh, our own space and uh, see what these mechs will do against, you know, normal inner sphere bad guys back in, you know, within our own borders. Um, that is going to fly us most likely past the 80-some days that are left, um, but that's fine. Um, we're not worried about the score. We've, we've cheated too much in this game for the score to mean anything at all, but that's my plan. I'm going to drop. I'll see you on the planet. And down we go. Stand up fight. Your lands against the opposing forces. Uh, you're near the current location. Move it and clean them out. Oliveira out. Let's go. Watch your heat levels in this planet. I would be obnoxious, but that's good advice. <laughs> All right, so they're telling us it's going to be hot. That's fine. Rolling. Um, you know what? I'll go there. We can get a little bit farther. Um, and our... Hold on, which one is that? And our Fenris can't go. I'm going to reload... Um, pre-mission um, so that we can try to get around that because we don't have jump jets on that thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it into the other spot and we'll uh, we'll try it again and see if that works. 
hard to tell. Hard to tell if we'll get the same map. I assume we will, but I, I honestly don't know. I don't know when it randomizes the map that we use. Um, but yeah, that that's the biggest problem with using the bigger drops mod is that the maps aren't really designed to drop more than four, right? They haven't given you the space for it. So we shall see. Back in a second. All right, and we're back. Now, I have found a legitimate bug, um, and that is, uh, one, two, three, four. I see five bits, but I only see four mechs. Well, we'll see how that goes for us. Um, when loading I've games, and I've never seen it before today, but today I've seen it multiple times, it just closes the game. Like, you've done an orderly okay. shutdown. Um, and uh, then you have to load it back up, which isn't normally a big deal, except that um, this game takes a long time to load with the mods that we have going on. All right, we're beginning to see people. Um, kind of stay here, more or less out of sight. Acknowledged. And let's run our out. Fenris up somewhere. A little worried. I, I'm kind of thinking we go this way. and Maybe we can kind of... That actually will give us vision. There's a mad cat there. Do I really want to... Oh! Um, yeah, we don't want to get close to him at all. Uh, I'm going to kind of hide here. Fire. Give us some, hopefully, vision, but not get shot. He could move. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stay back. And we'll go ahead and put a narc on him. Oh, no, we're not, because he's too far away, probably. Oh, well, we didn't do crap there, that's for sure. Waiting on you, Commander. <laughs> yeah, we can just stay back here. That's my plan. Um, too far out of range for the AC-20. That's fine. I'm just going to put the uh, ER lasers on him. Okay, we did a little bit. Um, this is my little dude here. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to sensor lock... I'm interested in what this is. I've got a sensor lock. Oh, did it say we had an improved sensor lock ping? Yep. I missed that, but I like it. Slide back here oh, with wait. the Mad Cat. We'll continue to take a shot at this guy. There we go. Done a little bit of damage to him. Not a huge amount, but you know. Man of War, same thing. We've got ERPPC and Large Pulse. There we go. We're into his arm. Um, he's just got... He's in cover. He's guarded. He's bulwarked. He's entrenched. He's got a large engine. That doesn't really help us that much, but it doesn't hurt us. His sensors are impaired, um, but we don't really have anybody else to shoot. So we'll go ahead and we'll put it in there. You know, maybe we would have got lucky on that arm. We did hit it a few times. Hurt. Looks like we did a crit on the ERPPC. I'm just going to slide the reopen back a little bit. Okay, we've got somebody coming through the trees there. Okay, he did have the shot on the Fenris, which is a little annoying, but not... I, hear I mean, there's only so many ways you can hide, right? I wasn't going to go there, but AC-20 says here. How many of these do we have to turn off to get that shot? A bunch. Um, do we do a precision strike on this guy? I mean, it's just a vulture. He doesn't have huge armor. Um, and we just do CT and see what happens? Time to die. A lot happened. A lot happened. Ready to rock. 
What if I go to... He I don't I really... That guy can see me, too. If I go to here... Only the one. Roger that, Commander. And then we just open up with all our 8 billion streaks. Which did... Had no visible effect. <laughs> but probably did something. And now we gotta get him the hell out of there. Um, because we just lost a clan SRM-6. Again, shooting right through the rocks. You gotta love that. I'm ready. One guy down. Enemy down. Also shooting through the rocks? Nope, he shot past the rocks. But that's okay. We're, we're fine. I'm losing armor left and right. Yes, you are. But we'll move you out of there as soon as we get a chance. Slide the man of war over. Who do we got? Uh, he's already taken damage. I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to see if I can... Um... Which one have we hit? Is it this one? We'll just see if we can take that torso off. No. No is the answer. Psh, what? To hit him and not really do anything effectual? Uh, I think that probably is about what he expected. Man, we're just not getting through there. I mean, he does have 1150 armor, but still. Good to go. All right, we need to run you away. I'm going to run you to here. Location confirmed. Says we can't get shot back there. Improved sensor tracking ping. Sensor sweep. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, let's go to here. Got it. Let's turn off these. Uh -huh. We hit with one, not with the other, but it took off the arm There's and the torso. Um, now, I think if we don't have a mech that will do us any good here, because we are planning on just moving back to Capella in space after this, we go for a streak. We grab one of those those SRM-6s um, to replace the one we just lost there. Okay. That was, you know, we're into the CT. Are there only four of them? Okay. Ouch. Big hit there. Is that the arm? No. Well, there's no good arm to lose in this thing. Let's be honest. So let's move up with the man of war. Let's get up here and take some damage with him. Um, I only got two mad cats I can see. They both have too much of everything. Streaks, pulse, PPCs, large laser LRM-15s, and a UAC. Um... Percentages are better here, so we're going here. I'm going to go ahead and pop my cooling vent. And we'll take the higher percentages. Right. That was a lot of ER medium lasers that we just lost. A lot of clan ER medium lasers we just lost. All right, let's finish this guy off anyway, if we can here. Or not. That guy, we just are not doing anything. Oh, he punched out. He punched out. Nice. That's good, because I didn't feel like we'd done anything to him. Oh, there are five. Yeah. I don't know why I thought four. Um... They just all happen to be, uh... All right, where am I gonna go? Um... Is there a place I can go where only one can see me? Here? Nine percent. Um, I think instead I'm just gonna Vigilance and Brace. I'm going to spin him around. We're not quite ready to shoot anything with him yet. We'll go there. He's got the trees, but nothing else defending him for the moment. And we'll get rid of his evasion till right now when he'll get it all back. Move the Mad Cat up. And... Yeah. 
feel the wrath. If by that you mean don't do a whole hell of a lot of, well, I mean, we did a lot of damage. You just didn't notice it. Oh, wait, so one of those up there is probably not a mad cat. Potentially. I mean, we're not seeing anything that's not a mad cat, but... Ouch. Standing by. Up there. Um, he is more... We need more damage this direction. Now, that is going to put us over. What if I take off that? Because it's not going to do much damage anyway. Okay, CT. And then we... Commander. Aye, aye. I haven't been hit with him yet. Commander? I'm just... Okay. I'm not sure why we lost all vision on them, but we did. Oh, no. No, 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 no. oh it's a Loki. All right. Um, let's go precise shot. Let's go here. And we'll just go CT. Okay. Critical hit. Commander. And let's see if we can finish him. No, we hit six damage where he didn't have armor, and that's it. Everything else just splattered the armor. Now this, though, is where we have this guy here. Just for this type of deal. If we come around here, it's a pretty crappy shot. I go to here. I stay in the trees. Well, again, wasn't super effective. Oh, we're about to lose a Ryokin. Finish him. Thank God. There we go. 60% down. Then go down. Right here. Man of War moves up. He's not going to be... Let's go with that. The Loki has less armor and two PPCs. Do a called shot. We'll see if we can just punch through one of those shoulders. Take off some guns. Eh. We have one hit there, one hit CT. Yes, Commander. Good to go. There you go. I go to here. Copy that. I still don't have my improved tracking yet, but I can pop this on that guy right there. Sensors locked on. Commander? Um, that's my left side. I want to just barely show him the left side. Affirmative. Right, Commander. Only one hit. I'm not actually sure where it went, because I don't really see anything that changed. Did a little bit, but not much. I'm gonna walk out here though, just to give him another target. Yeah, no, no surprise there. Now we just have to run the. Assuming the Ryokin lives, we just have to run him away. Move up here into the trees. I'm walking here. I'm gonna hit him with everything. Okay, well, we got into something. Not much. It just feels like... It just feels like it's real slow getting into those guys. Structure damage. Yes, Commander. I move the Man of War over where just the one has a shot at him for the moment. Um, we have one more turn before we can pop everything back up again. Lucky target. 
Okay, a little bit CT. I'm not, again, I'm not quite sure. The Loki must have some ECM on him. Because there's no reason otherwise uh, that we shouldn't be able to see that guy. Alright, this guy, we're just going to run this way. Right, Commander. Aye, aye. Orders. Yep, there we go. We can see it right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sensor lock him again. To break through that. Yes, Commander. Oh, now we can see both of them. Let's do a precision strike on his CT. Let's see if we can get into that into that structure right here. No, but we got a knockdown. I'll take it. That's not perfect, but it's something. Mad Cat, I think, will just stay right here. Firing all weapons. Down he goes. All right. We might want to just take Mad Cat parts here, to be honest. There's, what, three of them in this thing? Stay in the trees. Let's see, that is our left shoulder, so let's show him the right. And we'll pop our cooling vent. And then we'll precise strike him. We'll just go CT. All right, well, we took an arm off. That looked like a critical hit. Awaiting orders. That it did. Reserve. Confirmed. Good to go. Move order received. Sensor sweep, buddy. Sensor lock. Commander? Standing by. Little LRM action there. Okay, we punched through the armor on that shoulder. Go to critical hit. Waiting for orders. Resting my neck. Oh, he came running around. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Reporting. Serious armor. Thy will be done. That was not serious armor loss. You're on crack. No shooting. Interesting that we still don't have a shot at him from here, right but. Here. Two locations. I see. This commander. Um I'm gonna reserve. He's gonna take a few. He went up to the Mad Cat this time. Okay. Commander. Um. I'm gonna stand behind him, and then I'm gonna shoot him with some SRMs. Okay. Good to go. Aye aye. Can we really still not shoot him? I mean, we're standing right next to him. On my way. I await your command. There we go. Onward. Guess just indirect because of the bubble. That makes sense. It's easy. that's standard ECM. Okay. Yes, commander. And um, we'll stay in the trees. I know it gives us an indirect rather than a direct, but um, and I'm just going to uh, I'm going to do a called shot. There we go. ECM removed. Enemy down. Perfect. We took a. We lost a lot of money on that one. Let's be fair. Um, all those ER mediums um, and an SRM, a streak clan SRM six, or a clan. Anyway, either way. Um, yeah, that's a and and two double heat sinks. Um, yeah, it was an expensive mission, that's for sure. But we did it. Five mechs against five mechs. Um, actually, kind of probably similar weight, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, that's entirely possible. So it says we get another Loki Prime. Um, 
one one four. No, I think we have. I think we have two parts. We have one of a prime. We have one of something else. We need four total. Maybe something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure. Vulture, um, Clan ER, Clan ER PPC. That would be good. Pulse Streak would be good. AMS would be good. Double Heat. So this is actually probably the best one we've seen in a while. But I think because there's so many Mad Cats, I'm just going to take a Mad Cat part. I mean, we could conceivably, there's one, two, three, four, five, six Mad Cat parts here. Oh, we're not going to get it, though. I'm not sure if this is going to get us a Loki or not. I'm going to take it. I don't think it will. No, it's not going to. I'm going to take the SRM-6. I need to replace the Clan Gauss would be good, too. But I'm going to take the Streak SRM-6. We got two Mad Cat parts. Okay, fair enough. Um, and a Vulture part. But we knew we wanted that. And like I say, the Madcap parts really aren't, aren't as useful to us right now um, because our plan is to, uh, is to fly back now. We've done it. We've tested them in the field of battle, mana o mana, and we've discovered that, yes, uh, assuming we have the same equipment, um, we can be competitive. Yeah, I know. It's, life's hard sometimes. So let's go ahead and get into the mech bay and see just how bad it is. Um, well, we know we can fix the Fenris real quick because we did get that extra streak SRM. So let's go to here. Um, toss that in there and repair. That'll fix that. Right. I'll get it. This uh, Man of War was just regular damage. This I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with. Um, we've got we've got plenty of AC twenty ammo. That's not a problem. Well, at least I think we do. Um, yeah, well, not plenty. We've got one more, <laughs> one more after that. Um, the question is, what do we do here? And I think we've got two double, we've got an A clan double heat sink and we'll throw a regular one in there. The question is, what do we do here with all of our missing ER medium lasers? I've got two. So we could do that. That leaves us three tons. We may as well just stack up the mediums. We know that we're, it's not as good as it could be. Um, I've got two plus ones for accuracy, and then I guess just a regular one. It's not great. It's not as good as it was, um, but it'll do. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. Now, what I want to do is I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to sell the rest of this, and we're just going to come back with our clan mix. That will open up some additional equipment. I'm going to, the ones that I can, I'm going to go ahead and store. It'll strip them off, and then we'll sell them from storage. And we'll see money-wise where that puts us, right? Like, did we did we actually make money? I mean, we've been kind of flirting around the 380. I want to say I started with 400 mil is what I gave myself um, to do this. Now, this one we're going to have to... Can we scrap him? Because he's he's injured. We, we couldn't sell him easily. I mean, we could have, but it would have been... We would have to fix it first. It's not worth our time. We're leaving the area. Oh, hold on. We've got one more panther in there as well that we can sell. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to sell. So the awesome goes, the crab goes. So we're coming back with just our fancy mechs. Okay, so total investment so far. And remember, we've worked on the, the Argo as well um, and everything else. We're about 12 and a half mil into it um, that we've more or less lost since we did this. But remember, we've flown back and forth across the galaxy, the entire galaxy twice now. Um, three times. One, two, three. And we're about to go back a fourth time. And that's going to co that cost us a lot of money just in regular maintenance. So what I'm going to do now is off camera, I'm going to fly us back all the way across the galaxy. 
Uh, we are going to hit our 70 days in the middle there. We don't care what our score was. It's meaningless for us. And we're going to do a mission to wrap up back in Capellan space as a demonstration for our lords and masters and the people of the Capellan, Capellan Confederation to show them how proud they should be of their armed forces that while everybody else is getting their butt kicked by the clans, we have gone in and we have succeeded and we have brought back the goods. So that's the plan. I will see you next episode in Capellan space. Cheers. <laughs>